So you're getting started on a project with a website audit and you're not quite sure where to begin. In this video today, I'm going to show you my three favorite website audit tools. Before I dive into that, make sure you head over to the seopub.com, sign up for the newsletter there where I send out tips like this every single week. And if you're interested in how I can help your business grow, head over to Click Consulting, hit the request for proposal button and get that process started there. All right, so I'm going to share my three favorite website audit tools. And one thing I want to be clear about is that these tools don't take the place of SEO understanding and SEO knowledge and technical understanding technical SEO. They're complementary to that. In other words, you can't just run one of these tools and say that you performed a complete audit on a website. There's a lot of things to look for in an audit that these basic tools are not going to necessarily find. Like, um, you know, you might have pages where the heading order is not optimized correctly, or uh, you, you want to check the the priority of, of where links are falling on pages. It's not going to tell you that as you know, sites structured poorly overall. That's things that you have to know how to look for and have to have some SEO knowledge yourself. But these tools, what they do is they collect a lot of data to help you get started. And, and the data also, they'll collect a lot of um, kind of basic SEO issues and basic technical SEO issues. It saves you a lot of time from having to inspect every single page yourself, uh, especially on a really large site that might have thousands or hundred thousands of, of pages you can't really go through in an efficient manner and check all those pages individually for common SEO issues. So let's dive in with my three favorite website audit tools. First up, we have SEMrush. SEMrush is one of the most versatile SEO tools on the planet. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic for market research, competitor analysis, topic generation, um, and it also has a great crawler and audit tool built into it. It's a fast and efficient crawler that will help spot obvious issues across a website ranging from broken links to mixed content issues to missed alt tags, uh, uncompressed code, and, and a ton of other things it'll find. And it gives you a really quick, clean, easy list of things that you may want to, as an SEO, take a closer look at. Um, it'll break it down into kind of a priority that they consider as errors or kind of your bigger issues warnings, and then notices. So for example, um, if we go into the warnings here, it'll show a list of things that it found. And again, it's up to you to know if these things are, thing, are situations that you want to take actionable steps to correct or not. And it'll show you everything that the website passed as far as the, the audit list that it goes through. And it does the same thing for, um, there's a big list of errors that it looks for. It looks for things like I said, broken internal links. Um, it'll look for DNS resolution issues, uh, broken internal images, duplicate title tags, duplicate content, missing title tags, things, things like that that you want to be aware of and that a crawler can do really easily versus you pulling up a page one by one. So that's, that's the first one and one that I always go to when I start a new audit project. Let's dive into the second one. Okay, the second one is a tool, it's called Content King, and Content King was acquired by Conductor recently, so now it's Conductor Website Monitoring powered by Content King. Ignore the name, Content King is, I, I never understood why they named it that, it's kind of a stupid name in my, my opinion, but this is a really powerful tool. There is some overlap with SEMrush or, or any other crawler that you may use that's out there um, in its functionality. It does crawl a website. It identifies basic potential issues. I like to use this with SEMrush's tool to confirm findings. Um, where Content King goes even further, though, is ongoing monitoring of a site. And it'll crawl a site daily and notify you of changes that are happening. For me, this is extremely helpful because a lot of the companies I work with have teams in place that a lot of teams that maybe have a hand in the website. So maybe uh, somebody in the marketing department decides they want to change a heading on a page to better align with their brand messaging. I'll get a notification that that heading changed and can decide, you know, if it's something that SEO wise we're concerned about and want to take, you know, make them aware of. Um, I also sometimes web developers are given tasks to make a website, you know, redesign pages, make them more 
uh, aesthetically uh, appealing. And sometimes that creates SEO issues. So because this is crawling daily and notifying me of changes, I can, if problems come up, I can often catch them and get them corrected before Google ever had a chance to crawl them. Um, or in case of pages that get crawled really frequently, you know, get them changed right away before they, they have a drastic impact. So Content King is something that I use for an initial audit, but also ongoing auditing uh, a website. And the third website audit tool that I absolutely love is Screaming Frog. This, in my opinion, is the ultimate audit tool. It's so versatile. Um, I could go on and on about different ways that you can use Screaming Frog to audit and extract data from a website. You know, you have things like its custom extraction function, um, segments, API access to Google properties, which you can incorporate into your audit, uh, basic crawling functions. You know, there's just a lot you can do with Screaming Frog. Recently, they added the ability to execute JavaScript on pages as it crawls them, which actually lets you run ChatGPT prompts for each page as it's crawling. And that opens up a ton of possibilities of what you can use Screaming Frog for. Uh, I did a video recently where I showed off how you could use this new feature to have ChatGPT extract content summaries from each page that's crawling, which obviously is hugely useful in a content audit of a large site. You know, if you have a site with thousands of pages, you're not necessarily going to be able to read every single piece of content, but having the ability to have ChatGPT kind of piggyback on top of Screaming Frog and create a, a summary of each page as it goes through is, is hugely useful to me in an, an audit. Um, some other things that I, I use Screaming Frog for, identifying you know, obvious technical SEO issues, allows me to audit a specific section of a website. You can set the crawler up to only crawl specific URLs, and that lets me audit you know, just sections of a site if I need to in, in cases. Uh, you can create segments to highlight specific issues I'm looking for. And this is some examples of the segments that I've, I've created on this when I was crawling this particular site. You can find content with low engagement. Um, this is, is integrating with the uh, API access of Google Analytics. I can see content that has uh, engagement rate below a certain percentage that I may want to take a closer look at to see if there's opportunities to improve the engagement rate on those pages. Uh, I can find missed internal link opportunities. I can, as I mentioned, summarize content across a website. There's just a ton of things you can do with Screaming Frog, and that's what really makes it my, my favorite audit tool and, and a, a tool that I just can't imagine auditing a website without it. Again, these tools though, they don't take the place of a little SEO know-how, but they do help to gather data and identify obvious issues to help you perform a full website audit. So that's it for this video. Again, make sure you head over to the seopub.com, sign up for the newsletter there, where I send out tips like this every week. We also have a free Slack community that you can join where we talk about SEO topics, share ideas, strategies, all the time in there. It's completely free to join. All right, that's it for this one. I'll catch everyone in the next video.